Hey, seventh graders, this is Mr. Fries, and we are going to learn how to make the circumference formula at home and how to use it. And of course, Scoop loves a good circumference on her Frisbee to bite on those edges and play tug of war. Today, we're gonna do a quick experiment to discover pi. And to do that, you can follow along at home. You can find a paper towel roll or a used toilet paper roll. And I was able to find a large paper clip. Um, if you can't find that, you can substitute it by using some string or even a ruler. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, why I chose a large paper clip is this is basically the diameter of the circle. So it basically more or less goes from edge to edge, okay, going through the center. So the inside of my paper clip, this piece, is about the length of the diameter. And what we're gonna do is we are going to cut the paper towel roll from edge to edge. And this is the circumference. This is the perimeter of your circle. And we're actually gonna unroll the circumference to be a straight line. What you want to do is you want to try and bend it so it's as flat as you can get it. And so what I've done is I've unraveled the circumference, but this is still the circumference of the circle. I can roll it back up. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure how many diameters make up the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to take my paper clip and I am going to move it from edge to edge. So that is one diameter. That is two diameters. This is a third diameter. And then there's a little more. One, two, three, and a little more. Well, it turns out that little more ends up being an irrational number. And this is where pi comes from. So pi is approximately 3.1415 on and on and on, but any circle that you can unravel, this relationship works. So how can pi be useful to us mathematically? Well, since pi is a constant, it's always about 3.14, okay, we can use it to solve for the other variables. So to make the circumference and the diameter formula useful to us, we're gonna use inverse operations and I'm gonna get circumference by itself. Since the circumference is divided by diameter, I'm gonna multiply both sides by the diameter using inverse operations. And that gives us a formula that we can use to solve for circumference if we can be able to measure the diameter. Circumference is the same as pi times the diameter. But we also know that a diameter is made up of two radiuses. So we could also use the formula circumference equals two pi r by substituting in two r for d. So the important takeaway from today's lesson is that the circumference is pi times the diameter and a diameter is just two radiuses. So we can use this formula if we take pi to be 3.14, and if you're given a diameter, you just multiply those two numbers together. So if my diameter is 16, 3.14 times 16 is 50 and 24 hundredths. If I'm given a radius, I would have to double that radius because a, a diameter is two radiuses. So if my radius is five, I would do 3.14 times 10 equals 31 and 4 tenths. If I'm given a circumference and I want to find the diameter, I would divide it by pi um, to get the diameter by itself using the inverse operation of multiplication. So if I knew my circumference was 12 and 56 hundredths and I divide that by 3.14, it would give me my diameter of 4 or a radius of 2. So your key gold star note for the day is to know the circumference of a circle formula and where it comes from. <laughs>